Morning, everybody. I received in the mail this week um, my planner from Adornit. Now this came directly from the printer, so it's kind of a prototype, so it's not exactly correct. In fact, when I opened it up, I was missing the December dashboard. This is what the dashboards look like. So they'll have a girl printed, let me show you March because she's not colored. So it'll have a girl printed, because this is the calendar girls um, planner. It's the art play planner from Adorn It and it's called Calendar Girls. This is all my art. There's some, uh, Stephanie Ackerman did one, which is really pretty kind of faith-based and inspirational. And I think Kara Lee did one. And then there's one that's kind of plain and you can just have at it yourself. But I, I wanted to start with mine. Um, well, because I happen to love it, but also because I just really wanted to watercolor all of them. So the way it came was you get the cover, which is so cute. It's got the three little girls on it. Then the um, spine has three little flower girls. And then the back, which is where I started. And it's got some watercolor and I started doing some colored pencil work and some other things here. And I haven't finished that, but of course when I do, you guys will be the first to see it. But I wanted to walk you through this because the planners are shipping um, beginning to mid-December. So hopefully this weekend my goal is to get these up on my Etsy site and you can go ahead and start ordering them for pre-order and then they'll ship just as soon as they come out. Uh, if you're not sure which one you want, you can also wait and order from Adornit and they'll have everybody's. I'm just going to carry mine on my Etsy shop. So. What I thought was, if you're planning on using one, which I hope you all are, I could get you started by showing you some of the fun um, additions that I'm doing to it. So some of the tools that I use that you might want to think about having is a crocodile corner chomper. And I use these for the, um, I'm making some birthday and special occasion pages, which are what these are for, I'll show you. But I, I chomp the corner because I kind of like I don't do it throughout the book, but there are some pages I like rounded corners with, and that's this. Um, then I did some pockets that I'm kind of pre-doing, and I'm going to start uh, in December for this year with the calendar, even though it um, it's an undated calendar, so you can start whenever. But I'm so excited to use it and so excited to share it with everybody, I thought I'd start with December. So I made a little pocket here. Um, on the sewing machine but you could just use tape if you wanted to and punch the holes and it's gonna have my Christmas list for everybody in it so that gets put right there and again I I had taken some I had some scrapbook paper that was all lined just like this so but you could take notebook paper or you could print something yourself on your computer so I'm gonna put all my special days for December here um, birthdays, anniversaries, things like that that is going to be perpetual, so I'll use it year after year. And then again, my dashboard didn't come for December, so I created my own just using cardstock, and it's pretty cute. And it's got one of the little pictures from the um, coloring book. I'm going to finish coloring that for you today. And then the back side had a different piece of paper, and I sewed the two together, and that's going to be my dashboard for December. So if you guys wanted to go ahead and create... Um, anything ahead of time the page size is pretty much seven and an eighth or seven depending on how precise you want to be by nine and a quarter um, so if you wanted to start making any dashboards or like I said the perpetual calendars I ended up doing those um, what are they four wide by nine and a quarter long and then the other tool besides the corner chomper that I really like to use is the swing line. Well, I have a swing line. It's a three hole punch and it just was sitting on my shelf. It's pretty dusty. You can see, I don't know that I've used it ever, but the nice thing about it is that where the screws are, you can manually turn those and adjust them. So anything that I punch now is going to be the correct size for the holes in the book. So I'll just show you if I can put this over here for my little Valentine one that's going to go for February. I already sewed that. Let's see if that's going in there correctly. Oh, yeah, that's in. So chomp. So 
So we got that punched. Now let's see if I can find February. And February. So that's gonna go right in here. But before I put it in, um, one of my favorite things to do, and I thought I would share this, is to buy whole reinforcers. And then I'll take my watercolors. I'll just do one for you. Since March is next, it'll pretty much be green. And I take watercolor, but you could use colored pencil or stamp pad ink or whatever. And they don't all have to be the same. And you just color your whole reinforcers to kind of go with the pages. And you can match... Um, you can match the papers that you have. For example, let's see if I can go back here and show you. For example, the December Christmas pocket has um, olive green mainly. So I did olive green whole reinforcers on there. So they kind of match and, and blend in. The December one for my perpetual calendar is just white. I don't didn't do any colors there. So back to February. So I'll take, I already did these, which they're this is supposed to be red watercolor, but it kind of looks pink. Oh, hopefully you can see that. And I put these on any of the pages that are gonna get lots of use. So probably my calendar pages will get whole reinforced. And I bought these at, I think I got them at a local supermarket. I can't remember. Anyway, they were 57 cents, so how can you go wrong? And if you color them, they just look super cute and they kind of blend. But this could have been white or red. I just kind of got this pink color going on there, even though the watercolors say that it's red. So that's going to be a February pocket. And I like to sew mine because it will take a whole lot more uh, wear and tear. I put a little bit of fabric hanging down at the bottom because I love my fluffy stuff. So go on in there. And then we'll just do this really quick, because for February's birthdays, I'll just take this and we'll write February. And this is going to be for the um, perpetual calendar. And I highly recommend, um, unless you're 100% sure, like immediate family, Febru hang on, I can't spell and talk, February. Uh, immediate family and people that you know really well, you can put those in pen on your perpetual calendar, but a lot of the people you may want to go ahead and do in pencil because you never know um, if you've got the right date or if they're going to stay in your lives or not stay in your lives. February. Let's give it a little heart. And I'm just going to call these special days. Special days. And I'll just use a quick colored pencil here, a couple colors. Reds and pinks and purples, I love those for February. And then I can do more on it later because, you know, you can't ever have too much on your, on your goodies. Give the card a little bit of color. And you could um, do other stuff here if you wanted to back this with some paper or add some lace. I thought about adding lace to some of the edges. That would be really cute. So there's the February one. Down and dirty, pretty easy. So we're gonna put that in here. So that's gonna be my perpetual calendar now for February. And I have my little girl to color. Uh, we're gonna go back to December though so I can get this all finished. So I've got the pocket. I've got the perpetual calendar. I'm definitely going to add some finance sheets because one of the things for next year that's my goal is to not miss paying a bill. <laughs> it's a good goal. In my head, it's a good goal. I'm not sure that it will ever happen because I am not a good bill payer. You can ask anybody. It's not that there's not money there. It's just I'm no good at paying them. Anyway. So we're just gonna color her and get her all dialed in here so that December can be all ready to go. She's so cute. This is from the coloring book. I'm not sure I think I said that, but from the Christmas coloring book from Adornit. If you don't have that, you're gonna want it because it is really cute. There aren't too many other Christmas coloring books out there, so I'm happy with mine. Let's give her some red and white striped tights. She's so cute. 
And if you miss some of my other videos, I'm just using a water brush pen, which is just a pen with water in it, a, or a brush with water in it. So all you have to do is go to your um, watercolors and kind of touch them with the pen. And you're gonna pick up the color from the watercolor and it'll get onto the brush. And then you paint in your picture. Very simple. Her little ornament. Give her some kind of colors that match the background papers. And her tree is in a terracotta pot for easy transport because this little full moon girl, I think she lives in an apartment probably and does a lot of uh, moving around. She's a girl on the go. And then our tree. So cute. This is a quick and easy one to do. Some of them are a little more detailed, but this one's pretty simple. A little fun. And I like to, I know if you've watched the other videos, you know that I like to go over some of it with colored pencil. It kind of just fills it in, but we're just going to get this all dialed in. Maybe we'll give her stockings some green as well. Little red and green candy stripes. Oh, my laundry's done. I don't know if you guys heard the buzzer, but there's my laundry. Time to go fold laundry. Not really very fun today. Okay. So there she is. Pretty cute. Now she just needs a background. And my favorite color for background is just light blue. And I just kind of swirl it around in there and get it going and let it dry and then we'll go back with colored pencil kind of fill it in get some detail going cute so you guys might want to add um, like I've seen some of the other planner companies they do physical fitness and you know fitness planning and you can do shopping guides and all kinds of stuff. I'm planning on doing a few other things that I'm gonna print on my printer and add in. And as I do that, I'll post those so you guys can see some of the other things that are fun to do for your planner. But everybody's kind of got their own life, so everybody's gonna need something a little different. But I think finances and special days, those are something that everybody does, sadly. Sad but true, we all have finances. Give her a little heart there. Okay, so I think that's pretty well done. Maybe we could add just a little purple, just because I'm a purple girl. Add a little purple in there just to kind of give it a highlight. Ooh, fun. And then we could take our colored pencil and add some green in here to the ornament. That pencil is not coloring very well. Oh, that's a good one. And make her ruffle green. Add some stripes in here. Give her some detail. So cute. Find red for her pot. So anywhere you see black lines on any of these coloring sheets, if you just kind of go over them, it's fun. You can also circle around them. I think that's fun too. Let's get a darker red maybe. That might be more of a maroon. Oh, here's a nice dark red. Pretty. And you know me, I like to scribble, so we got a lot of scribbling going on here. Now it's becoming a fun tree. Scribble over the leaves a little bit, make it full and bushy. So the watercolor gives the background and then the pencils give your detail a little bit. And you don't have to scribble like me. You could take your time and do it nicely, but that's kind of my thing. I kind of love scribbling. You gotta have a yellow star at the top of the tree or gold would be fun if I had a gold pen here, but. I don't. So I can always add that in later. Give a little highlight around there. Make it look like it's kind of glowing. So, 
there's this girl for December. You can see. So I'm going to fill in some of this other stuff, make some more pockets. It looks like I'm going on to February next. And I will color her. So until next time, um, I hope you guys order your planners. It's something to look forward to in, in uh, December that will give you some a little gift for yourself and something to work on um, to get ready for the new year. So thanks for sharing. Have a great Friday.